All right, we are trying the Civil War streamer. Called that because it's mostly blue and gray. So started off with just a with my thread base, and I'm going to attach bead chain for both to serve as eyes and as some weight. So I'm just going to do a simple little figure eight on here to get these guys going. And put several wraps in either direction. And run my thread base on back to about the barb. And stop from there. I'm going to grab my head cement and apply a base of head cement. This is important to keep these lead or these uh, bead chain eyes from moving around. All right, so we're at the back. We're going to use gray mirror blue blood quill. Um, I like a big long tail on this streamer, I'm trying to represent a, oh, a shad, a minnow, any number of bait fish. So we're going to put a good wrap on and then I just wrap it forward. Nothing too complicated. Wrap it forward using kind of a gray thread here as an underbase thread. Take my scissors, pop it off, much like you would do any woolly booger. A little more. head cement, important step to keep that blood marabou from moving around. Now I'm going to go to um, long, about six, seven long strands of blue flashaboo and we're going to tie that in a little bit longer than the gray marabou in fact. A couple of wraps and then we're going to use some Palmer chenille and medium pearl gray. This is kind of some stuff I bought to tie musky flies with, but we're going to wrap it in and just simply work it forward now. Thread should be good and embedded, and I'm going to stop oh, about about that far from the front. Now, all we're going to do is Palmer the chenille up and over just like you would be again if you were tying a woolly booger trying to keep all the fibers headed backwards when you do come to a point I just to wet your fingers and keep those fibers headed backwards and we're quickly going to be where we want and we're going to tie off that first front snip it off and that's that for that thus far now we're going to tie this off a little bit back it up just a little bit and go ahead and put a nice tight whip finish right here stop and now we're going to switch to some of this neat uni stretch thread it's an aqua blue we'll start work our way backwards just like we were starting the thread base again move it back forward and again a few wraps in either direction like that blue collar all the way through the fly kind of keeps that blue lateral line collar okay we're gonna clip our thread just like we did before a little whip finish and pull it down cut it off Add head cement, and right there you have the 
Civil War streamer. I think you'll like the looks of that. It's 